seemed at least to see friendly be out of there. Even now, as I peered through the dense trees, I could see cracks of light and a bit of land beyond. I must have been getting closer to town, but where exactly was I? You're in Silent Hill! As I stepped through the gate, I suddenly recognized the auto part factory where I had worked as a mechanist for all those years. The plant had closed almost three years ago now. Times were better then. I thought I could hear a faint rustling behind me. Maybe it was just the wind. Oh, another corpse. I found the body of a security guard just doing his job, no doubt. His face was covered with blood from some kind of head wound. I wonder, was this flashlight his? Dug it to the ground was a cracked old watch. First my wallet and now this. Did I recover? Yes. Is there an evil murder? One of the lockers hung open, its contents were tossed around like someone had been looking for something. Door was locked. Large power. Mel was starting to wear cobwebs. The box wasn't receiving power. Door is locked. Be part of this plant smelled old and rotten. I noticed the little bulletin board on the wall. The board contained yellow clippies of newspaper cartridge notices. There were notes to and from the guys that worked here. One of them was to Norman, who was one of the older guys on the line. Power panel, we should have to. Yeah, sure, why not? Some more. What's in here? More lockers. Bookshelf, mismatched tools, claws, hammers, yes. And there was a uh, good, yes. Oh, that's weird. I could have to tour through, take pictures. This guy's gotta have amnesia. It does look like a black and white movie. See if I could get the panel to work. Does that mean this works now? Oh, the rest of the regulators. What's this? Planks, tools, and broken up parts blocked any further passage. Alright. What's this? Another smudge of dirt, similar to the one I found in the sewer. Who's on the floor? Oh, building materials? Why is that there? Ok, 
Okay. Rack of flashlights hung on the wall, one of them was missing. You mean the one I'm using? The stale scent of the old factor gave way to the brisk outdoor pine trees of dirt. I was back outside, though I wasn't sure if that was better or worse. The path beyond was dark and my flashlight barely illuminated anything. I wondered if it had really been taken from the factor. If so, how did I get it? That poor guard. He was probably just doing his job. Maybe he knew what was going on that boarded up room. If he did, he wouldn't be telling that tale to anyone. I hope the path leads back into town. I need to find someone's help. You mean so you could kill them? Steel truck, hey, blah blah, I tried to crush smash, should you better rest? It had been there for a while. The garbage bin was a disgusting mess of rotten food, slick black bags. I saw a thin greenish corner poking out from one of the bags. It was a uh, my driver's license, yes. Uh, sound like it was going to start raining again. Okay, so let's go inside. I entered Norman's place. This was the back of the store that he ran. It was oddly quiet except for the faint sound of television. Did this guy just like go batshit and kill everyone in town? What the hell? One of Rachel's old autumn coats hung on the rack. That was Norman's bedroom, was it? it? What's this doing here? Uh oh. Ooh, there was a well maintained gun cabinet. There's Norman's room. I didn't know much about guns, but it looked like it kept a few hunting rifles. TV was flickering some indecipherable channel. Oh no, I couldn't believe it. What was I seeing? Norman Uridis, my co worker, one of the few friends I had in town, lay dead beside his armchair. His face and shirt were covered in blood. It looked like he'd been stabbed or something tried to get out of his eyes were still wide with shock. Norman was Rachel what was Rachel doing here? Why did you have her coat? Norman, maybe you deserved better. You probably did. Did I close his eyes? Yes. I closed his eyes down. Shuddered as I did so. I wasn't sure if I wanted to give him peace or if I just couldn't stand to think anymore about what was going on. So, your wife cheated on you and you murdered the town. I guess this was Norman's kitchen table. He kept it clean enough, but there were water rings from two cups still there in the wood. Oh, what's in the garbage can? Uh, trash can smelled fresh. Yeah, why not? A hairpin amongst rotten food and... Why would I take... whatever. I'm not gonna question it. It's a horror game. You pick up weird shit. I used the hairpin and lock, stopped it half, so I threw it away, but I opened the door. General store was small, but it was clean. It had the usual things, postcards, stocks, magazines, cat foods. Never went there much. Rachel usually stopped by after work if we needed anything. Register. What's it here? Icebox. Unplugged. Uh, various postcards. When the postcards showed an old black and white photo of the water tower. Looked to be in much better shape then. What else would I be forced to endure before the end? See Norman up there, dead. It turned my stomach just to think of it. But I couldn't put it out of my mind. How was he evolved to this? This was getting worse and worse. I was starting to feel uh, incredibly... Vulnerable, as I stepped out into the rain, I realized how close I was to home. I hoped I would soon find my answers. That you're batshit crazy? 
It was locked. Was it the right gate? Gate was locked. Yeah, one of them's open. Garbage, garbage, garbage. It was locked. Ooh, what's this? Yeah, sure, why not? There was overturned that dress, but the envelope was too normal. Carefully, I tore it open, looked at the layer side. It read, Stay away, she's by! That was it. No signature, no other information. You wrote it, you know it. I had entered our backyard. The rain gave me a terrible sense of foreboding, and it chilled me through my clothing. I was expected. Bleh, I was, yeah, expected, but also afraid. Held my breath as I pushed my our back door. I was terrified to step inside. Cause you murdered her. The house was painfully quiet. The only sound was my own breathing. Dragon and strains. I flickered the light switch, but the door to power was off. I guess we're going to the basement. I'm gonna have a breakfast here on this very table. Is that yesterday or some time before? Gee, they keep stuff locked in their own house. Uh, I picked this up. Most of the contents were bills, credit cards. They, yeah, sure, why not? I ripped open the bill and read it to my surprise it said something about cancelling my credit card due to non-payment. What the hell? Uh, I couldn't go through. I've got a stuck shut old fashioned key holding underneath the handle, which means I need a bobby pin. I found the last missing piece from my wall with old floor shells. Their back could be reminding me of better times. It didn't make me feel terribly comfortable. Yes, you kept it. Stolen identity. Maybe it's broken. Our mirror had been smashed to pieces around the floor. Our sink, which needed to be replaced with a tap's always stuck, but I hadn't got around to fixing it yet. Uh, we were lucky enough to get a house with one of those wonderful old clawed footed tubs. Yeah, but then the enamel starts going on those old tubs. It's gross. Don't get one. Uh, my laptop had been left on, and only a tiny bit of power left on the screen was a website about the old water tower. There was a key in the top drawer. Yes, you took your key. Uh, I pocketed the key. Bookshelf for racials. Hey, now that I look more closely, it looks like. The man in that house had some of the same books as I did. There was a suitcase on the bed, it was Rachel's, I remember it from that trip we took out west. Did I open- yeah, sure, why not? I was just sure what to make of the suitcase contents since I had for a few days worth of clothes, some toiletries, and a trade ticket. Where was she planning to go? Somewhere without you. Uh, this was gonna be anywhere. No, that was just this. Wait, can I get toiletries from here? Because there should be bobby pins. No. And there wasn't anything in here for bobby pins. I have a key, but... Door's stuck. That one's unlocked. Door. Uh, Christmas decorations, garbage bags, panty supplies. Yes, I took small key. Uh, clothing. Uh, 
the cellar so we could create a separate room in the base where the head first to the cellar door was stuck and the drywall was poorly installed. I'd be able to break through if I felt something heavy enough. <clears throat> okay. I assume this goes to the one upstairs. But the room had been tossed around for she was the best to slip the break in here. And prepare. What's this? There was an old crowbar. Yes, we're taking the crowbar. <laughs> yes. Through the brick wall, my breath caught my throat. This was it. Was Rachel down here? Was she okay? What? Of course not if you blocked her in. Filthy looking pile of rags has been dumped down here, and the corner of a stitch of them was awful and made my eyes water. It's terrible to even touch the pile to see what lay with it, though, but I knew I had to. I had to. I had come this far after all this searchy, after all, see what I looked with it, the rags. Yes, let's see what we found. I, oh no, my hands trembled as I pulled back the layer of cloth. There, at the center under the dirt mess was my beloved, my Rachel! Her arms were bruised all over and slashed repeatedly. Her clothes were ripped and torn. And even though all that sickly blood, it was obvious she had been stabbed to death. The knife I had carried all this way slowly seemed like poison. What had happened, Rachel? Who did this to you? Obviously you. I thought about all I had seen and wondered if any of it could help me figure out who had done this. And when I could stay any longer, I stepped away on shaking legs and made my way back upstairs. Reluctantly exhausted from my journey, I could no longer resist the urge to close my eyes. <clears throat> Grim Discovery It was my wallet with the cut hits. Either I dropped that stuff or someone else did. Maybe I was sleepwalking or maybe something... Somebody stole it from me! Norman story that forest the water tower was... I at those places before, yes, yeah, sure. I didn't see how it could have happened any other way. I must have been the one to lose my wallet and its contents. But what does that mean? Oh, what's this? This was an old photo. Well, what did I think was... This tunnels, odd tools, his house. This is his butts, for sure. If you broke a piece of radar, I could see in your face. Grown pale and weak, I couldn't bear to look again. It's like I didn't actually expect a reflection. I felt empty and drained. This key card I found at the bottom of the factory locker. I never did bother to use it. Someone had been going through those lockers to poke around the plant, still, it didn't quite hey. add up. Was I the one who had been going back to the factory? Yes. I'm a heck of a tricky but Hey, uh, go ahead and, uh, Dan, jump back in. Who wants to play? Yeah. Uh, uh the party. Uh, feeling my little power. I'm just finishing up, um, the home. Yeah. What's this? It was a letter I'd taken from the post box. Who had it? Okay, it must be somebody from the neighborhood, or at least someone wanted to. Fix the doorbell. Did he murder Rachel? Yeah, sure, why not? Maybe. 
Or did the deed himself, but I was sure it was Norbert who killed Rudy Chilipi yet. You bastard, Norbert, I trusted you. We both did. What was going through your head? Why would you possibly want to do that? Despite his betrayal, Norbert got what he deserved, but it wasn't me who killed him. Someone else honestly had gotten to him already. So it said that threatening letter. I have no one to get angry with you for stupid things like buying TVs. Into <laughs> this, my old office. Before I used to keep tax records and other important documents, it was just a passcode lock. Maybe I didn't have the code. Maybe I left it somewhere else. Seemed like I had seen all there was. Maybe I thought I was ready to go back into the basement. This. Nah, okay, he wants to go to the basement. Let's go back to the basement. Into a situation one way or another. Uh, I left by a party because it was too hard to read over top of people talking. Yes, we left the house. Living in the town hadn't been easy. The plant had helped us away to stay grounded. It kept me in line, gave me something to do. Help me get away from my past when the factory closed, everything changed. I guess that was when I had started sleepwalking, disappearing for hours at a time. I had MRI, S, and piles of doctor's reports, but nothing seemed to help, not even drinking. But I swear I tried to give it up, I know it. The sleepwalking never really went away, though. But I know Rachel had tried. No, she had tried to be there for me, even when everything was falling apart. This night had unearthed terrible truths, but I knew it was the final act of a long standing horror that I had been living. Like walking up in the house tonight was the final cruelty. I wish I had remained unconscious in that room forever. It was obvious to me that the man I had found in that house had something to do with all this. Could he have killed Rachel? It started to seem that there was too many things I had seen to think otherwise, and what was hidden within those sewers I had found. The tunnel to the man's house obviously led there, but was there something I missed? I found the contents of my wallet scattered throughout town. Why the hell had I been out there? Had my sleepwalking gone to some new extreme? The thought that I couldn't account for my whereabouts, but knew I had been to the forest and even Norman's place, well, it was terrifying. I don't know what that meant, but at least I had recovered my things, hopefully, I thought. That would cover my track, so I wouldn't be blamed for all this. The tangled mess of that horrible forest was an experience I never want to repeat. It was clear, at least, that I had been the one going back to the factory. I must have been sleepwalking or something, but what the hell was I doing there? I get enough drinking hands, I? So what was going on in that boarded up room? Suddenly, my stomach started to turn. Was I responsible for that dead guard? After the factory, I thought I might had some solace if I could just get to Norman's store. But all I had found were more horrors and more questions. Now that I really considered it, that's what I should have seen it coming. Norman, you rotten son of a bitch. You got what you deserved in the end. I realize that now. I thought we were all friends. What had happened? What did she do to you? Or was it what she didn't do? I didn't know what happened to him exactly. Maybe he was the murderer, or maybe he took his own life. But it was difficult, if not impossible, to feel any real grief. When I had marched through the rain towards home, I desperately clung to the hope that this would end. And I guess in a way it did. But how could I have known how hopeless it all was? 
I had started to feel as I disoriented as when I sleptwalked to think of it now. Coming through the back door and into the kitchen should have tipped me off that something was horribly wrong. There was no sound of television, radio, even the air was still. But, but seeing Rachel there lying ruined and discarded in the basement? That was horrible. I could never have imagined the other man I had found was involved in all this somehow. I knew it. But it was Norman, that traitor son of a bitch, who had done this deed. Whatever was going on, he was the one who took what Rachel anyway away from me. I hated him for it more than I could possibly express, but that offered no strength, no solace. Rachel was gone now, and I was too, forever. As I swung open the door and stepped out into the air, I caught the scent of the wet grass of fog. Rachel, my beautiful wife, just the thought of her again cold and in shook me from head to toe what would i do now who could i turn to <coughs> would it be a matter of time for the police got involved before the neighbors knew front lawn was soft and given beneath my feet and i couldn't shake the urge that i shouldn't stand there but rather i should run slip it away you earned a trophy i don't know what happened i don't I went through a game. The guy didn't know what was going on. He obviously has multiple personality disorder. He murdered people and doesn't know what's going on. Are you beating everybody? Yeah, it's like, I don't know, 20 minutes. 